I need to fit a square peg into a round hole. This square peg into this round hole, in case you hadn't put that together. The problem is I don't have a wood lathe, nor do I really have room for a wood lathe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trim router and turn it into a wood lathe. My goal for this design is to make it compact, functional, and easy to set up and tear down. So let's jump into SolidWorks and get started. So the plan is to take my router and put a bracket on it, and then I'm going to put a housing in that bracket, and then I'm going to put a bearing in that housing. The bearing will receive a square dowel. Now, the entire housing should be able to move back and forth because, you know, laid. So I'll spin the dowel with my drill and then push that into the router bit and hopefully come out with something round. So I'm going to design all this in SolidWorks and then print it on the 3D printer. So I'll see you over there at the printer. Here's a time lapse of the housing and some knobs, and then here is the bracket and the bearing printing. I shut off the lights a couple times during this time lapse. That felt great. Anyways, uh, now that this is printed, let's go assemble. This is too awkward to clamp to anything, so I guess I'll make a fixture of some sort. Okay, let's do it. Let's give this a try. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. In fact, it was kind of terrifying. I'm gonna try feeding it through by hand, but I definitely have some problems to address. <laughs> 10, still got 10, okay. Well, that was disappointing and kind of scary. Uh, but you know, as much as I enjoy quitting and giving up on my dreams, I think I need to take another stab at this. I've got a lot of ideas for how to improve it, but I don't know when I'm gonna find the time to make those changes. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I already made them. Let's talk about this. So I moved this face forward so that the dowel will be supported closer to the cutter. I also mirrored the entire assembly so that the dowel will come in on the left side of the cutter rather than the right side. That's important because that'll make it so that the cutter is pushing the dowel back into me rather than trying to pull it away from me and gouging. That was probably the number one problem with the previous design. The number two problem was friction trying to push the dowel through this sleeve. So I added some bearings in this sleeve so that now the dowel will hopefully roll over those rather than sliding across the plastic. I also added this mounting geometry and I added some bolts that go through this bracket into the housing to tighten that down after I've adjusted it to where I want it. So I'm really excited about this design. I think it's gonna work a lot better. So let's give it a try. Here we go. <laughs> Holy crap! Wow. 
Holy cow. That looks great. Wow. That is a completely different machine. Holy cow. So much better. So for reference here, this is the first one that we cut today and it's pretty good, but you know, there's definitely room for improvement there. Behind it is the second one and it turned out really good. Um, there's a little bit of bumpiness in the surface, but really it's, it's really good. Um, I think I could get rid of some of that bumpiness by just making the design a little bit stiffer, adding some material to it, increasing the infill. But overall, I'm really pleased with it. I think I could also change how the bearing block clamps into the bracket. I think that'd make it a lot more rigid too. But I just don't have time for that. Um, oh, actually, what's, what's that? Oh, that must be another design that I did. Well, let's talk about that and give it a test. And then we'll end it there. All right. So the big change here is that there's an aluminum plate on the inside of this dovetail. If I loosen these two bolts, you can kind of see that that is free to move around in there. Um, as I tighten those, they pinch on the dovetail and on the bearing housing, and they really lock it down nice and secure. This is a lot more rigid than that previous design, and I think that it shows in the dowels. Let's give it a try. Well, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Uh, after seeing how that first rev cut, I was pretty discouraged. And I did some other revs that I didn't show you that also didn't work, so I'm really glad I stuck with it. I'm amazed at how well this cut, and like I say, I could not be happier. I sure do appreciate you coming around and watching these videos, so thank you, and have a great day.